O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O Trinity of blessed light, O unity of princely might, the fiery sun has got its way, shed now within a heart your To you our morning song of praise, to you our evening prayer we raise, your glory suppliant we adore for ever and for evermore. We are waiting in hope for the blessings of the glorious coming of our Saviour. God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I send firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be addressed my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Come and talk our only a breath. Great men in illusion, placed in the scales they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, no vain hopes and plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. We are waiting in hope for the blessings of the glorious coming of our Saviour. Let God bless us. Let his face shine upon us. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations and your saving help. 
Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult. For you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing. Till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Let God bless us. Let his face shine upon us. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Let us give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created, through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself and a witness to the sufferings of Christ, and with you I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it not simply as a duty but gladly, because God wants it, not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers, and intercedes for the people. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He laid down his life for his brothers. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. I made my soulful things to all men in order to save them all. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness 
Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him, he puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. I made my soulful things to all men, in order to save them all. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent men in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed, for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and merciful God, by your grace, St. John Mary Vianney was remarkable for his zeal as priest and pastor. Help us by his example and prayers to win our brethren for Christ by love and to share with them in eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.